is 15 degrees, heading for that high of 18 degrees today. I kind of think we're going to get there too, I do. Wednesday, September 19th, and right after this, yes, joined, would you believe, by what I think is the entertainer of the year coming out of British Columbia, in Kelowna, British Columbia too. It's taken me almost 18 months to get that right. <laughs> we have been clicked. You're right here at Galaxy. Hang in there. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and I'm joined, coming out of Kelowna, British Columbia, the artist himself, Ben Click. Uh, I reckon, Ben, you are the artist of the year. Glad to have you with us. Thanks for coming back. Well, thank you for having me back, Grant. It's great to always chat up and chat with you guys and talk to Barbara and you. It's so much fun. Well, you know, we absolutely love you, Ben. We have for, uh, well, over 18 months now that we've been following you. And uh, we've been building, dare I say it, somewhat of a legacy between each other. And uh, I think now that we've come not only to the combination of it, we have this one last track uh, that we have off the album to play. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about that. Uh, but... Don't forget, the British Columbia Country Music Awards is coming up next month, and we feel that you are a sure for a number of prizes there. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I mean, it's been, uh, the last year has been quite something with the new album being released, uh, three singles off of this new record, actually, well, it's four now, uh, four singles off the new record. It's been, uh, it's been quite a quite a year and quite a successful year for uh, not just myself but the band and the entire team that helps me through everything. So we're looking forward to the BCCMAs when we uh, head down to Coquitlam and, and do our thing come October. Well, you know, uh, I thank you. And, of course, let's not forget Little Beamer as well. Uh, are going to make a huge impact over the next 12 months. Uh, and, and I am literally expecting to see you in the Canadian Country Music Awards next year. Uh, and, and literally up there with the people like Hyde Valley or the uh, uh, Rick Laws and people like that. Uh, because I think, Ben, you are on the precipice right now of being famous. Well, thanks, Grant. I mean, that, uh, that means a lot. I mean, a lot of these Canadian Country Music Associate, like the CCMA Award winners this past year, are all guys I look up to. And uh, all the nominees are all people I look up to. So to be um, in that same ranking or in the same kind of nomination categories as all of those, uh, let's call them Canadian icons, would, uh, would be super cool. And I mean... Like you said, um, our good buddy Beamer, uh, we're going to be, uh, like, he's, he's nominated for a couple himself, so I mean, it's, uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed for everybody this year. You know, just quietly, Ben, I can see you doing a duo with somebody like maybe Jess Moskowitz. <laughs> Believe me, so would I. I would absolutely revel in that idea if it absolutely happened. And uh, maybe I've just planted a seed. You never know. Uh, and when I do talk to Jess, I I'm actually going to mention you to her. I, I am going to be talking to her in the near future. So uh, believe me, I am going to have a little chat about that. I think it's a great matchup. Sounds good. I'm going to go right ahead. Maybe you have more pull than what I do. <laughs> uh, don't even think that one, my friend. You are the man, literally. Now, um, at the moment, our kind of choice for uh, Song of the Year for you, coming off the album Legacy, of course, is uh, what we think is the winning song, Blindside. Uh, how do you feel about that? That's, uh, it's something that's surreal. I mean, I've been, I've written that song about three years ago with, uh, with a good friend of mine, Jeff Johnson, and uh, my producer down in Nashville, Riley Madison. So the three of us came together and, uh, and wrote that song three years ago. And uh, it just felt like the right time. I was in the right place to put it on the record, to put it up to radio. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was one of those songs that just kind of grew naturally and had this natural up upbringing and, and kind of surfaced itself 
um, when it came time to putting together the rest of the record. So, I, I mean, for it to get uh, for it to get song of the year, um, even just strictly nominated against all those other incredible songs that are out there, is is super cool. Well, you know, uh, I'm going to be talking to uh, Linda and to the Pope in the very, very near future. And I'm going to put forward, that's my pick for being click for 2018. Uh, and uh, folks, if you don't know the song, and I know you do know the song, you've been requesting it like crazy. Here is being click, Blindside. Do not be, I really do feel this is the winner. Well, thanks, Grant. I mean, I don't know what any of the other songs are at this point, but, uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure, uh, well, like, there's so many great songs out there, it's flooded with fantastic Canadian music. I mean, the Washboard Union just released stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on, hold on. The Washboard Union. Band, but... The Washboard Union are all buggers. They've gone into the bloody Hall of Fame. Come on, you're an aspiring artist. Uh, and nothing against Dave and the boys from the Washboard Union. Good friends of mine. Uh, and I think they could see the humour yeah. in that. Uh, but Ben, you are tomorrow's music, bro. Well, thanks, Grant. I mean, it's always, uh, it's always something cool to be able to stay ahead of the curve a little bit, but also create what you are personally as an artist and bring that forward to the table it's it's something that i quite enjoy doing well you know something uh even though this is the last song that we're premiering off your album legacy i am so looking forward to seeing some new stuff from you uh, i presume winter is coming very very quickly so you're going to be entertaining the thought of maybe getting back into the studio um this is not oh, our yeah. last interview, my bro. Barbara was saying to me the other day, she was a little sad because it was the last song and that we won't be speaking to Ben for some time. And I said, don't you worry about that. Ben will be back for Christmas. Ben will be back for New Year's. Ben will be back for a lot of things in the near future. Believe me, Ben's not going away, you know. And she uh, was literally a little heartbroken that maybe this is the last song and we're not going to hear from you again. Oh no, there's uh, there's definitely more being worked on and planned. I was booking some co-writes and things yesterday, so there's some uh, there's always new music being churned out constantly. Nice, bro. Let's go back to the beers. Okay. Love this song. Yes, yeah, cool. I love it. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM 17 after 9 o'clock. It is 16 degrees downtown. Heading for that high of 18 today. Uh, I think we're going to do better. I think we might even get up as far as 1920 if you uh, just have patience, really. Wednesday, September 19th, and believe me, coming out of Kelowna. Uh, and uh, absolute pleasure to always be talking to Ben Click. And he's joining us right now. That, that was the blind side, and that's our choice. This is Galaxy's choice for Song of the Year for the British Columbia Music Awards. And Ben, uh, we have one last thing that we're going to be doing off your album, Building a Legacy. And uh, uh, first of all, I want to say that I go right back with you to uh, off-road, my friend, way, way back in the day when we very first started doing stuff like that. I still today play that song, absolutely love it, and everything in between, including Butterfly Tattoo. I could list the whole lot of them that we do play here, Ben. We are huge fans of yours. And uh, 
Uh, I just got to say that, Ben, do you still have those punny cowboy hats, the big ones, the red ones that you were wearing? <laughs> wow, you remember that, Grant. That is awesome. Uh, yes, I still do. They are in the music room downstairs right now. They're uh, currently collecting dust. However, they do get moved around and stuck on random people's heads at certain points. So a we, I, yeah, I, I've still got I've still got them. Very, very cool. I, I just want you to know that, Ben, we don't want you to lose that sense of humour as you uh, get more into the music industry, if you know what I mean, and amongst the competition. Please, please, stay Ben Click for us, won't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've got, like, the, even the band that I play with have a wicked sense of humour, so there's going to be no way that I'll that I'll lose mine, trust me. <laughs> nice, nice. I absolutely love that. Uh, now, Ben, at the same time, uh, I want to be able to say to you, even though this is the last premiere we're doing off your album Legacy, uh, and I know the winter's coming along, uh, are you considering maybe moving on and making the start of another album? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's always, there's always potential in writing new songs and recording new music and everything so it doesn't just stop just because there's a new record out i mean the band and i have uh, played between 25 and 30 shows this past year which has been fantastic all based around this one record uh however just because like i said the record's out doesn't mean that i haven't continued to write music and to uh, and to go and record things and all that sort of stuff. So there definitely will be some more coming. I can't give you a date as to uh, exactly when at this current point in time, but I can tell you that this is not the end of, uh, of music. Nice. And that means that you're going to be coming back more often to be able to keep uh, playing these premieres uh, across the world uh, and believe me my friend we absolutely love you we can't have time without you if you know what I mean so we're always always wanting new music and, and new stuff from you now at the same time this is a very good segue to get into uh, the magician song now uh, in your lyrics there you say you can pull a rabbit out of a hat and a duck out of your sleeve I want to see you reverse that. I want to see you literally do a magic trick and pull a hat out of a rabbit and a sleeve out of a duck. Well, that uh, could be potentially hurtful to the animals. However, I mean, <laughs> if, it's, if it's magic, I mean, I may have to go for it. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? It's just being innovative. Anybody can pull a rabbit out of a hat. I've done it myself, even though I know I put the rabbit in there. Uh, I've never tried doing a duck in a sleeve, uh, but why not spin it around? Why, you know, be a, a, an out-of-the-box thinking magician and pull a hat out of a rabbit? That would be fun. Oh, I mean, you're, you're, I think you're on to something because nobody does that. That would, would be like an America's Got Talent type of thing that nobody ever thinks of. That just goes straight to those final rounds in Los Angeles or wherever <laughs> they do it. <laughs> You'd have David Copperfield knocking on your door straight away, wouldn't you? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, there's always a swapsy thing there. You show me how to fly, I'll show you how to do uh, the hat and the rabbit thing. All right, deal. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Fair enough, too. So, uh, I really, really want to know about the magician song. It literally, I want to know all about it. Now, how did you come to the lyrics, and why, as a young fella, did you absolutely feel that you needed to resort to magic to win people over? All you have to do is smile. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. I was, uh, growing up, it was always music, and I just, I love the idea of magic my one of my big things was card tricks and uh, although I couldn't do too many I always wanted to learn them and the the whole sleight of hand and how these hand movements are um, uh, just add to the entire thing and then I started seeing illusions and how there's those quick changes how you pull up a curtain and then the curtain drops and you're changed into something completely different and then all of the like the straight jacket stuff how people escape I always thought it was absolutely fascinating um, growing up, and to this day, I still don't know how people do it. I'm still curious as to 
to learn that sort of thing. My little cousin knows three or four card tricks. He fools me every single time. The dude's like 17, and uh, I have no idea how he does it. Um, but regardless, that inspiration as a as a kid, and also being kind of who I am as this fun-loving storyteller, I wanted to fuse all that together. And uh, a co-writer of mine down in Nashville, who's also a fellow Canadian, his name is Tim Taylor. Him and I got together, and we wrote the song The Magician. And uh, I'd probably say it was a month, month and a half, before I went to Nashville to record the vocals and things over top of, uh, over top of the song. And my producers down south, they, uh, they said to me, hey, so we've got a surprise for you. And I said, okay, what's that? And they said, well, we've actually got this group or part of the group who are called the Time Jumpers to play on this record. And from my first trip down in Nashville, it was 2014, August, kind of mid-August, it was hot, it was muggy, it was kind of disgusting. But uh, regardless, I went to this little dingy bar called Third and Lindsley, where they serve some food, they serve some drinks, and that sort of stuff. And the Time Jumpers were playing, and it was basically the masters of Western swing that uh, from from the from the fifty, the forties, fifties, and sixties of the early country music, the traditional sound that were all up on the stage. And Vince Gill was playing with them. They had a bunch of these guests come up, and uh, turns out that my producers got a few of these time jumpers to be on uh, on this recording itself. So what you're about to hear is the masters of Western Swing that live down in Nashville who have played with the lights of likes of Vince Gill and uh, Johnny Cash and all those guys. It was absolutely incredible to uh, to be able to sing and be a part of the magic and the creation of this uh, of this song. You know, Ben, uh, we absolutely love the song here at Galaxy, and uh, we've kind of dubbed it uh, Chocolate Box Music, to be quite honest, uh, because uh, we kind of get, you know what a woman's like when she opens up a fresh box of chocolates, don't you? You could get anything after that, I tell you. That's the kind of feel that we have here at the office uh, and when uh, we listen to The Magician. So, Ben, without further ado, we're going to play the Magician, here's Ben Click in Galaxy 107 FM. <laughs> Awesome, my bro. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so much fun. I love that track. It is so just different to anything else right now. You know, there's 5,965,000 people listening. That's awesome. Yeah, that's not a bad day. It's not <laughs> oh, a bad so morning. Cool. Yeah. So, um, we'll, um, Close it out from there, but Ben, don't go anywhere. You know the routine. We'll do the little video thing. Stick it yep. on the on the website for you, my bro. For sure. Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. Nice. And uh, I do mean it when we say we absolutely love you, Ben. We want to follow you through your career. Oh, yeah. And please, 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 please. don't forget us. Oh, there's no way. I mean, every time I get a, every time Barbara sends me a message or I see something from you, uh, it gets off. It's it's just this family between the Galaxy One One Hundred Seven FM. That, like it's that family. There's the BC family. Like you guys are anybody I talk to knows you guys from a supportive group from whatever it is. It's super cool. <laughs> yes, uh, I I gotta let you know. Um, on the same night the uh, Canadian Country Music Awards were on, there was also the Josie Awards happening in America at the same time. Um, there was a band there. Um, has it, should I say the name? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. A band called The Hollow Boys. And we followed the video of them going yeah. to the award. Now, what you didn't see was once they got their award and got off stage, back to their seats, the first call they made was to Barbara. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's the truth. Let's go back to the desk.
That's right. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined by the legendary, and I know he's going to be a legend in the future, uh, Ben Twig coming out of Kelowna, British Columbia. Uh, and uh, Ben, I uh, absolutely love The Magician. Now, uh, are you going to follow through with uh, more of that style of music? Oh, I mean, the thing was, I had so much fun putting together that song. Um, although I wasn't in the room specifically with uh, with with the band and the time jumpers and those guys, I mean, I know that my my producers down south had just a blast doing it. And uh, to me, good, like good music is good music. It doesn't have to be specifically stuck into one genre or whatever that is. So uh, the cool part is, I I would certainly hope that uh, there's some different things coming out on the records. And I mean, this this song specifically, the magician. As much as it's still kind of Western swing and older country, it gave me a little bit of a bug to go see what God, what else is out there that I can also explore from a uh, from an artist's perspective and see what else I can do. Because I mean, the sky's the limit, right? Yeah, absolutely right, Ben. And it shows not only your maturity but the diversity of your thinking and your music and your style. Uh, and uh, I absolutely applaud you for that. And uh, know that you're going to make a huge inroad in the music industry if you keep thinking that way. Well, thanks, Grant. I mean, like, like I said, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a team effort, and without the, uh, without the team that I've got down in, uh, down in Nashville, here in Canada, kind of in and around the Kelowna area where I live, um, and including you guys all the way over in, uh, in New Zealand, the Galaxy 107 FM. Like you, it's, it's the team that makes everything run. And with a, as I were, that I'd be where I am where I am. So thank you guys. It's, it's fantastic. Well, we absolutely love you. We support you 110%. Uh, and by the way, please pass love on to mum and dad and, of course, to uh, Sarah, your sister. And uh, uh, when is she going to be breaking into the music industry, by the way? <laughs> My sister is way smarter than I am, and she's currently in university going into uh, a bunch of sciences and things like that. She's gone at 7 in the morning and home at 5.30 at night. So she is uh, a hardworking um, university student at this point. Me, I learned how to play a guitar and sing, and that was my thing. And she's going to go save the world somehow. So <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, just, we're going with it with that. <laughs> yeah, you know, my friend, uh, let her know, by the way, that we do launch rockets here in New Zealand into space. We need more scientists. Keep it in mind. All right, sounds good. I'll bring her over with me when I come play. She can come and run the rockets. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you, you get a better deal, actually, because you get to go home now, don't you? <laughs> Leave her behind. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm just thinking like a brother would think, to be quite honest. Uh, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Thank you to Ben Click. Stay there, Ben. We uh, will do a couple of things right now, but let's get back to the studio. You're right here at Galaxy.